back for another review. Got a little helium today. But, pretty good, I guess. Alright, where's my helium hole at? Oh shit. Uh, fuck. I lost it. Where's it at? I'm losing my helium. This is not good. Not, oh. I need a dip. <laughs> what should I review today, guys? Huh? I'm thinking some, uh, some, uh, grizzly wintergreen. I think that might do really good. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Grizzly wintergreen. Yeah, yeah, oh, that's really, that's good stuff, good stuff. Ah, my dog's barking at me, she can't tell who I am. <laughs> oh shit. I need a dip, 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 I need a dip, dip, dip. There's my little hole. I need a dip. Let's pack lip right after this goes away. Wait, let's just go ahead and finish this off. Yeah, I'm going to get a headache. Yep, I'm really... Oh, shit. I'm... Yep, that was some good stuff. That was definitely some good stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I ain't done that in a while. So I figured I'd go ahead and do it for you guys. But yeah, it's Big Red Dipper here for another review. <laughs> She's still barking and I'm looking at my TV screen. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, I'm back. We'll be doing some Grizzly Wonder Grain. Of course. Uh, I'm going to try to get another can later of some Copenhagen Southern Blend. I think I'm getting a can of that before I head out to West Virginia at 7 with my sister to see my nephew and my other sister, which lives up in West Virginia. But yeah, we're done some Grizzly Wonder Grain. She's cracked already. Uh, let's put a lip in. Uh, yeah, let's put a lip in. Okay, yeah, like I was talking about on my first review, I did a little while ago, like two days ago, maybe a day ago. I hate the smell. And I hate mint. I don't know why, but I do. I just, just I don't really hate it. I just don't like it. Uh, it doesn't suit me, I guess I can say. I, I love Copenhagen Black because like the bold smells, not these uh these kill your nose and nose minty smells. Like not this isn't even a mint smell, it's just real strong. Uh, yeah, this I did crazy Copenhagen about a day ago, I guess, or two or eight days ago. Uh, the cut on Copenhagen isn't as long on uh, as a uh, grizzly cut is. Let's Put a good pinch up here. I don't know if it's gonna be enough, but as you can tell, it's not as long as maybe the Wonder Green is. I'm, I mean, the Copenhagen is, but yeah, I guess I reckon let's put this in. How do you like that healing? <laughs> uh, yeah.
yeah. I really ain't done that in a while. But yeah, uh, back to the dip. Uh, I don't know. Get a little amount out of this can. Got my three pinches. I think I got a little, little less than a ten. I mean, a half a can left in it. Yeah, I'm like three pinches out of it. Mm -hmm. Another thing, like I was telling you about the mint, Grizzlies always had like a pretty long cut to it. So, I mean, it really doesn't have no problem packing together as you seen earlier. That's the cut. Mm hmm. Pretty dark, too. Pretty dark dip. The mint, like I was telling y'all. That's more of a drier dip. That's actually really dark compared to this. I'm gonna pull up the two and tell y'all tell me what y'all think. Which one's darker. Now, I'm pretty sure the winter green is. Hopefully the camera will show that. Alright. Yeah, the winter green is definitely darker. That's the mint on right there. This is the winter green. So the winter green's got the darker dip. The dip is darker. Hmm. It's funny though, cause even though the mint looks drier, and uh, I just put the top wrong on this thing. Uh, yeah, I just put a blue top on a winter green, and a blue top. I mean, a, a green top on the on the mint. <laughs> Yeah, but it's funny though because the uh, spit in the in the uh, mm, mm. this thing smells like straight mint. Uh, the spit in the uh, the mint is actually I think a bit darker than the wintergreen, but if it fairly the wintergreen is still a dark spit. It's gonna be dark. It's got a little. I mean, it's not it's not as dark as that, but it's still dark. Uh, the burn, hmm, burn, burn into wintergreen. It's gonna burn a little bit. I don't really get a burn from it, but it still burns a, a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, burns a little bit. Uh, a little bit. Now the nicotine, the nicotine, the nicotine. Nicotine, uh, nicotine and a wintergreen is normally strong. It's normally strong, but uh, I usually say I'm getting a buzz from this shit, but surprisingly, I'm not. I'm not getting a buzz from it. Not a big buzz, at least. I'm getting a little one. To be honest, completely honest with y'all. I'm getting a little one, but it's not as bad as it normally is, to be honest. Um. Hmm. Yeah, it's not as bad. You know, I do, I like the camo cans this year. I do. I like how they actually did it. I like the ones on the Copenhagen too. They're not like their actual camo. Well, they're not even camo on the Copenhagen cans. They're like a hunting team on it. Hmm. It's like a hunting team on it. Like we got the buck and the does and then the regular trees and shit like that in the field. Um, but yeah, I do like the hunting teams on this year. Pretty cool, pretty, pretty, pretty cool. I'd say, um, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? I might do it if I get the southern one, or it might be skull apple. I'm, I'm debating between the two. Usually, I don't get skull apple unless I'm hunting, and I'm not going hunting this weekend, unfortunately. But my shoulder is feeling better. Uh, during the day at weightlifting, uh, I did some rehab with it. Like I did some shit with this rubber band thing where I stretch my arm like this and shit and go like that and shit like that. Uh, felt pretty good. It didn't hurt too bad. It's getting better. But, uh, it's a uh, for I learned that uh, I thought I was told that uh that after my surgery it's a six month recovery six six month recovery process to to the um to the thing. So if I get it after Christmas it'll be like in May or. 
I might get it in, uh, in January, one or the other. It's like where they put, the, the surgery is like where they cut little pieces in there and they put these little things called anchors in your in your rotator cuff, which tightens your rotator cuff, cuff down, which will keep your joint, I mean, keep your bone more stable and inside it, that way it doesn't slip out as easy. But yeah, I'll be getting that here soon. Wish me luck on that. Pretty shitty. I hate the fact that that happened to me during football. It really does suck. I wish it wouldn't have happened. But shit happens, you know? Shit happens. Mm hmm. As you can tell, I'm getting a lot better looking at the camera. Instead of the screen, I'm looking at the camera now. Uh, it's a lot better. Um, yeah. Um, um, yeah. Mm hmm. But yeah, I might I might get the skull apple or the what the skull is pretty skull apple is expensive at the store here. It's like four four dollars. Well in my area I, I call that expensive to me. To me. Mm hmm But yeah. I either be getting that or or cocaine and southern button, one or the other. Just letting you know that now. Um so look forward to that and please this is the end of the video, of course. So please subscribe, uh, like, give it a thumbs up. Mm hmm. Mm. One more thing before I go. Another thing about my shoulder coming out, when it comes out, it fucks my nerves all up. And uh, my nerves are real jumpy. And it, like, they're, they're, or it's either my muscle or my nerves, one or the other, is spasming. So you can see my, my skin kind of popping out a little bit. It's, it's like, it's really, it just goes boom, 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 boom. Um, yeah, yeah, all right. Well, that's all. Give a thumbs up, five, my bro. A big, big, big buck dipper, I think. Yeah, that's it. And uh, yeah, give him a, a follow. I mean, a follow this shit the same Instagram. Um, give him a uh, subscribe, please, if you don't mind. And uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for tuning in. There'll be another one later. And see you.